um, the flatfish family, they had a continuous dorsal and anal fin. Um, flatfish family, very good. Where do they live? They're bottom dwellers. They're bottom dwellers. Um, they are low. And, and what else do they have in common, like when they're babies? Uh, they are born upright. And then um, when they mature, they either are a left or a right eye fish. When they grow up, they turn to the side. And then either become right eye or left eye Okay. Now, explain to the difference. What, how do we tell right eye, left eye? Of the um, belly. The softer is the belly. And the firm flesh on top is so a right eye fish. What else do they have in common? We started that already. The continuous? Continuous dorsal and anal fins. Um, they are low activity and they have hard bones. Uh, so you would use, and you would for this fish, you would use a flat cutting method. Um, or? Or the up and over. Flat, flat is a good answer. Well, you also need to be very, you could use the, the up and over method. If you write down up and over, no good. Flat is the first thing because it's a flat fish. If you give me both answers, it's okay. You got to have the flat though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so are we talking about the species now or the family? So? Um, this is a turtle. Now let's go back to that species you have in your hands. What is that fish? <laughs> um, I want to say winter. All right. Flounder. Ah, no kidding. What kind of flounder? Give me one of two anyway. Winter flounder, summer, summer flounder. What is this? Winter, winter, winter flounder. flounder. Okay, so this is a winter flounder. Yeah. Mm. It has a dark uh, pigmented top and a lighter uh, underbelly. They all do. Um, it's a right eye fish. Okay. And. Cooking method. Fundamental. The burnt butter. Uh, you would shell, yeah, shallow You would use um, the cooking liquid to make the sauce. What's the market for? Uh, in the round. So everybody, see if they agree with that. In the round. <coughs> yeah, you're right. But <laughs> explain to them why it's in the round. Um, it contains all of the inside. And the head is on. That's the way it came out of the water, so therefore it's in the round. Hey, don't be so hesitant. Make it a little bit more exciting because they're falling asleep already. Yes? It has a diamond shape. Huh? And the summer flounder is left eye. Correct. Right. What's another name for the summer flounder? Or one of the summer flounders is? Blue. What is the most popular winter flounder? What is the benchmark for the winter flounder? I want to see hands. Lemon sole? Dover sole. Oh, that's a Solon fish. Oh, sorry. Solon Solon fish. Yellowtail flounder. The yellowtail flounder is the benchmark of the flounder family. Okay, that means that's the whole stem. That would be nice if they all would be like that. They're not, but that's the benchmark. Is it more expensive? Like a little bit, a little bit. And then what's the story about the lemon soap? Like a flounder, like it's if you want to um, get uh, a nice three and a half pound fish and eight ounce fillets, lemon sole probably would be the sole to get. Okay. All right, but the yellowtail flounder is the benchmark. You need to know that. For sure. Who else? Come on over. <laughs> Oh, 
I made it even more exciting now. Okay. This is the turbo, um, and you can tell because it has the continuous dorsal and anal fins. Um, it also has the bumpy skin, which means that it has bone in contusions. Bone in um, and it is uh, left eye, so you can tell by right, when you hold it up, um, and you can see that. What's the market form for this? This is in the round. What? In the round. Oh, the guts are up. Oh, drawn. Yeah. You need to know that. What's the cooking technique for that? Burn that. Bruno said it's not a cooking technique. Oh, sorry. You can shallow poach this. You could shallow poach that, yeah. All right, so that's fine. That's fine. What was this? <laughs> What's the scoop about the Bruno I said? It's the brown butter. Um, yeah, yeah. Did you do that with the Hollywood? Or the turbo? No. Do you, you, you could, but uh, that's not what we it's, talked about. Yeah, yeah. With, yeah. with this as a name. Gateway. Okay. Mm -hmm. We all have names. So mm -hmm. This and her. I don't like that. Okay. So, what else do we need to know, or should we know about the turbo? Where does it live? How many different species are there? Well, where, where does it live? It lives on the bottom of the ocean. Which ocean? The Atlantic. You also have the Pacific salmon, uh, Pacific turbo, Atlantic, and then you also have North Atlantic, also in Greenland, and northern part of Europe. And the, the European turbo is a little bit different. It does not necessarily have all those bony protrusions, and not necessarily the, what's, what's the shape on this? Round. Yes. Round, a circle shape. That is shaped a little bit more like the Hollywood diamond shape and it gets bigger. What's um, what's the average size for the turbos? If you order it, weight. Three to five three to four pounds. Three to five pounds, but it also gets a little bit bigger. But it contrasts to the fish we don't have here right now, like Hollywood. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had Hollywood here once, right? Yes. So what's the story on the Hollywood? Weight wise. What's the average weight for the Hollywood we would buy? Nobody? It's big. 20, 25, up to 30 pounds, but they get up to? 300. It's big. very big. Uh, what is very big? 300, 300. <laughs> 300 500. Well, 300 to 400 is not unusual. And if it's you huge. remember, I know we didn't watch the video, uh, uh, the, the, up to 600 pounds. Okay? Obviously, that's a little teaser. Okay? So, <laughs> All right. That's huge. Anything else you want to tell us? All right, Michael, come over. Tell us about those.